In this video, we will be going over email configuration in MotorWave. MotorWave may be configured to send out email messages as part of alerts or signals generated by studies, support for public email addresses from providers such as Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Windows Live, or Hotmail are supported. Now the specific SMTP settings can be found online via search, and there are some links in our user's guide to help you with that. Do keep in mind that for some user accounts, you may need to create an application-specific password in order for this to work. You can also use a corporate email address, but again, you will need specific SMTP settings, which you can get from your network administrator. So now let's take a look on how to configure email in MotiveWave. We would click on Configure, Preferences. In the top row, select Email. Now in my example, I'm going to be using my Gmail account, so allow outgoing email, smtp.gmail.com. This case supports 465. The username, the password, from, I'm going to put the same email address. And the same thing for two. Now I'd click apply. And at this point, I recommend clicking OK and restarting MotiveWave before sending a test email. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to restart MotiveWave. So I'm going to close this off. OK, MotiveWave is now restarting. If I go over to Configure, Preferences, and then click on Email, if I click at Send Test Email, you'll see that the test was successful, and now I can receive email alerts at this email address. So I will click OK. So, you know, you can send email alerts based on um, specific price points and you'll see now that here my default email address is set I could select yes if I want to in that case I can also do it with some studies allow for sending of alerts so here I can just signals enable and you'll notice here if I click yes it will use my default email so I click create and then, of course, some components as well. You can create email alerts. For instance, the breaking of this trend line. I can right click, create an alert, send email, yes, OK. And now, if any of these, if this trend line is crossed or any of these guides, uh, price hits any of these guides and crosses them, then the alerts will be triggered and they show here and an email will be sent. Okay, that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.